Hey nerdy list lovers, I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am not Batman sadly. But the hunt is on for a new Dark Knight because things are shifting once more in the DCEU. The world was not exactly surprised when the release date of the Matt Reeves Batman film very clearly stated that Affleck's time as Bruce Wayne has come to a close. This latest Batman film is said to be a noir Batman tale. Although some fans would contend that Batman has always been very noir-esque anyway. But this film is set to be a more detective based story that is now looking for its detective. And you know what that means, at least you do if you've been hovering around fandom for any length of time. Fan casts. There are official potentials, or rumored ones anyway, and then there are fans tossing their hats into the ring with their faves. So today, we're going to take a look at the top 10 actors who should play Batman. This is an eclectic group, and some are people who fans have been trying to get cast for years. And then there's what we know director Reeves wants, and what he cares about and doesn't care about. Rumoredly, Reeves wants someone in their 20s for a younger Batman, and the studio wants someone in their 30s. Reeves doesn't care so much about height or build, but the studio does. So with all that in mind, let's take a look at who people are casting. These are people's fan casts, not mine. I'm Sasha, and I'm not telling you who I want. Number 10, Kit Harrington. Yes, you heard that right, Jon Snow. While Jon Snow may know nothing, certain fans are convinced that the actor could make a compelling detective. At 32, the actor would fall into the correct age bracket for the studio, and there is definitely a circle of fans out there who consider him a heartthrob. But some aren't quite so convinced. Playing Batman is a dual role. One is both the Bat and Bruce Wayne, and not everyone can envision Harrington that way. For some, it is the beard, and of course he can shave it off, but many fans don't want him to, and some just aren't ready for a bearded Batman. Number 9, Richard Madden. That's right, keeping with Game of Thrones people. Or well, ex Game of Thrones? I suppose a more accurate recent statement would be of the bodyguard fame. When it comes to this fan cast, we're talking about intensity. Some have seen the menace and serious authority Madden can emit, and feel it would be perfect for channeling a younger Bruce Wayne and budding Batman. At 32, he too falls on the younger side of the age bracket, but more on the studio side of things. However, Madden is involved in a dual fan cast at the moment, as some fans would rather he play James Bond, even if his odds are not looking the best at the time of this recording. Number 8, Daniel Kaluuya. As Batman, as Bruce Wayne at least, has always been a Caucasian character, this is an odd cast for some, and largely has a political bend that has caused many a Twitter fight, and for some, taken the fun out of the fan cast process. A fantastic actor, the 29 year old falls nicely into the age bracket between both studio and director desires. However, he is being selected by some because they feel Batman should be black to increase diversity. And some are going so far as to attack others' choices as boring, or argue that Bruce's race has no bearing on his character. Character, while others argue he is one character where it 100% does. For some, this is just too much drama for a fan cast. But Kaluuya has been put forth more than once, and is not the only POC actor to be put forward, but he is the one that seems to have garnered the most controversy. Share your thoughts on the matter down below. Number 7, Oscar Isaac. While selected for some of the same reasons as above, there is a bit of a shallower rationale behind this fan cast, and that is pure fandom first. When Isaac played Poe Dameron in 2015's The Four Awakens, a whole generation of fans were alerted to his charismatic presence, and many have been hooked ever since. These fans feel that Isaac possesses a very important quality for Bruce Wayne, suave sex appeal. However, at 39, he falls pretty far outside the age bracket. Still, people are wont to dream. Side note, at the time of this recording, Isaac is in talks for something involving a Dune film, which excites me to no end, for he who controls the spice controls the universe. That's a lame Dune joke for you. Number 6, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Now Johnson is appearing on a few more official lists than fan ones, but is still getting some play in that arena. The 28 year old Johnson is no stranger to the superhero genre. He played the title character in 2010's Kick-Ass and had a short lived stint as Quicksilver in the MCU, so fans have seen him in action in those universes. And for some, they feel he would be a perfect fit. Is playing a superhero like riding a bicycle? Only time will tell. Number 5. Jake Gyllenhaal. Now this one may be confusing to some, as Gyllenhaal is set to debut in the MCU as Mysterio in the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, Spider-Man Far From Home. And usually, these two companies try not to have too much overlap. However, this fan cast may be coming from the fact that there were already rumors swirling that Gyllenhaal had been in talks for the role. So some feel he was already a contender, and hope that now could be his time. As Gyllenhaal has been attempting to take on varied roles over the past few years to try and showcase his range. However, others feel that if the ship was ever in 
report, it has sailed with his casting as Mysterio. Which, hey, first live action Mysterio, that's pretty cool. Maybe better to be the first Mysterio than the sixth person to play Batman in a live action film. Number four. David Mazuz. Now this tends to happen whenever there are ongoing, or in this case, recently concluding series and films overlapping. The idea of taking actors from the series and casting them. Never forget how hard people pushed for Tom Welling as Superman during the era of Superman Returns and Smallville. Mazuz plays Bruce Wayne on the Gotham TV series, so is already familiar with the character and definitely fits the bill for younger. In fact, some feel he would be a bit too young at 17. However, others feel he would bring the curiosity factor. People coming to see how he would do, especially as the final season of Gotham sees the character finally assuming his caped identity. So some feel it would be a seamless transition. What do you think? Too far fetched or do you like the idea of combining these universes? I mean, the DCEU is already pretty confusing. Would this help or hurt it? Number 3. Charlie Cox This one is interesting because it's more meme than fan cast. A combination of two internet pastimes combining as one. Some explanation at the time of this recording. The Netflix Marvelverse is still in the process of being dismantled to make way for Disney streaming service Marvelverse. And some are very sad about the loss of Cox's Daredevil, particularly as the third season was well received, but then it was abruptly cancelled. Some feel it would be a fitting vengeance to see the actor cast in a rival studio's project in a title role. At 36, some feel the actor is too old, and others aren't ready to give up on Daredevil just yet, still signing hashtag Save Daredevil petitions. Though some are serious. The Daredevil is Batman, the Dark Knight of Hell's Kitchen. Now it's just the Amalgam Universe, and I'm okay with that. Number 2. Army Hammer Now Army Hammer has been a contender for years, since the first round of new casting post Bale's stint as the character during the Nolanverse trilogy. People have been putting forth Hammer's name over and over. Now there appears to be another chance, and so people are putting him forward once more, and are even creating some pretty compelling manips. At 32, Hammer falls into the studio's apparent desired age range, and he was actually already once cast in a scrapped Batman project by George Miller. This project was called Justice League Mortal, which was cancelled back in 2007 because of, you guessed it, the Nolanverse. People weren't ready for multiple verses back in 2007. Or at least, studios didn't think so. MCU Universe launcher Iron Man was still a year away. So could this be Hammer's time to shine? There seems to be a push from a couple of corners. But only time will tell. Number 1. Wait for it. Ben Affleck. Now hear me out, this isn't a cop out, it makes sense. Not everyone is happy with the fact that Ben Affleck's time is done, and in fact his performance has proved to be quite polarizing. While now that he is out, you are having people say he was worse than Clooney, others feel he was the best Batman, and it was the movies and scripts that fell down. Some are genuinely sad that they won't get to see where his arc was going, seeing the development of the friendship with Superman, the romance with Wonder Woman, maybe. An introduction to Dick Grayson, a fight with the Joker. In short, many people are mourning the lost potential, and they don't want to start all over again, to have to get invested all over again. It's quite the hot topic, and people will probably have a better grasp of it in retrospect. So who do you want to play a potentially younger Batman and Bruce Wayne? Honestly, every time there's always drama and backlash, and then people ultimately end up having to decide when the movie is released. People are too short, or the wrong look, or well anything. It's kind of tiring. or maybe. Maybe I'm just old. Some people are getting really mad though about this fan cast. They're having Twitter fights and they're getting change.org petitions started and it's just a lot. Share your fan cast down below. I think the thing I've been most excited about in all of this is seeing people fan cast Cole Sprouse as Terry McGinnis aka Batman Beyond. I would watch that movie over and over no matter how terrible it was. Sometimes a fan cast just speaks to you. And that one speaks to me. As for my favorite Batman, Kevin Conroy is my Batman forever and for always. Thanks so much for watching this list and as I said, share all your fan cast down below, I can't wait to read them. Surprise me. And more importantly, subscribe to Top 10 Nerd if you haven't already and hit that like button and share it around. It was great hanging out with all of you. Be sure to tune in again soon. See you soon. Bye.